So guys, one of the most expensive parts of buying a new Mac is internal storage. So I usually recommend for people to buy the internal storage they absolutely need and use external storage for everything else. Now, most people will probably think of external SSDs, but there is a much better, much safer, and much more versatile solution. Let's ramble. Hold up, place go up when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up, guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So guys, like I said in the intro, internal storage is one of the most expensive things. When you're configuring your new Mac, it can literally almost double the price of your new machine. And of course, that is not ideal. So the most obvious solution is to configure the lowest possible storage configuration that will serve your essential needs and to use external storage for all your other files and media. The go-to solution for most people in 2022 will be external SSDs. And for good reason. There's a lot of advantages to using these drives. They're relatively affordable, they're fast, you can use them between different devices, and they're small. So they're great for travel and you can take them with you on your commute. Having said that, external SSDs have some downsides as well. Because they're so portable, they're very easy to lose. They start out pretty cheap, but if you want a model with more storage, they can get pretty expensive. And when they do fill up, you can either delete the files and use it again, which kind of defeats the purpose, or buy more drives. And not only does that add up pretty quickly in terms of cost, it is also very inefficient because you'll end up with a drawer full of SSDs and you're gonna have to come up with a system to know which files went where. And even then, Ultimately, these drives will fail and your files will be lost forever. Now, there's an additional problem if you intend to use your SSD drive to back up your Mac using Time Machine, for example, and that is that you will need to have it attached to your computer pretty much 24 seven, or you won't be able to back it up, which means your portable drive is now no longer portable. Now, for that reason, some people choose to have a dedicated hard drive on their desks for the sole purpose of backing up the Mac. The advantage of that is that you can get a lot more storage for a lot less money. Money. It won't be as fast as your external SSDs, but if it's just there to back up your Mac, that's not a huge problem. If you use it to store other files or media, you will of course only have access to them when you're sitting at your desk. And just like external SSDs, dedicated hard drives will fail at some point and your data will be lost once again. Okay, so how do we fix this? How can we store our data in a way that is reasonably affordable, that we can access wherever we go, and that's safe against things like drive failure? Enter the NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage. Now, the good people at Asus Store were kind enough to send me their Drive Store 2 Pro to demonstrate what a NAS is and how it works. They're not sponsoring the video, no money exchanged hands, and they had no say in the video whatsoever. They didn't get to see it ahead of time. They'll see it just the same time as you guys. But they did send me this unit for free. I just wanted to be transparent about that. I'm already a user of Asus Store NAS products like this Locker Store 2, where I keep all of my YouTube footage and that has saved my butt more than a few times, which is why I chose to reach out to them to support this video by sending me a unit to show you today. So what this basically is, is your own private cloud system that you can access anywhere in the world where you have a data connection available. So let me show you what's in the box, then I'll show you how it works, and then I'll explain how this fixes all the problems I mentioned earlier and what makes this the best solution for storing all of your files as well as backing up your Mac. Right, so when we open the box, the first thing we see is a bunch of QR codes, and I do encourage you to scan these codes. The last one in particular leads to a part of Asosaur's website called College, where you can learn everything there is to learn about NAS drives, and it's divided into knowledge levels, which is very, very useful. Anyway, in the box, there's only a couple of things. The NAS itself, of course, a power brick and a cable, and an ethernet cable that you will need to connect your NAS to the internet and your network. There's also a little baggie of screws that is there in case you wanna use a 2.5 inch SSD drive. We won't be needing those today and I will show you why in a minute. The NAS itself looks very sleek, almost like a desktop hard drive, but there's a lot more to it. On the front, we have all the LEDs that tell us the status of the NAS and we have the power button. The button in the middle is actually a USB backup button, which is connected to the USB port below. And what that does is it instantly creates a backup of whatever USB drive you stick in there. Press the button and it will back it up. It will start flashing. And when it stops, your backup is complete. No need to go to your computer and do it manually. Now that is an awesome feature. On the back, we see two USB ports instead of one, which is exclusive to this Pro model. And this is there in case you wanna expand your storage in the future. 
And underneath, we see a red 2.5 gigabit LAN port and a very, very quiet fan, keeping everything nice and cool. Now you might be wondering, well, where do the drives go? This sleek panel on the front is magnetic and it pops right off. And what we find underneath are two caddies that will hold the storage drives. Now this small NAS is a two bay system, which means it takes only two drives. But of course you can choose how much storage each of those drives will have. And unless you intend to use your NAS to store massive amounts of media files for years and years, a two bay NAS should be more than enough. It will certainly be enough to back up your Macs. I chose to use two 10 terabyte drives for mine. These are Seagate drives and those are the best drives you can get in my opinion. Certainly the best value for money. There are cheaper drives, but trust me, you don't want to cheap out on those. Seagate is a well-established brand. They've been there for many years, so you know you're good. And these specific ones are built to be used in NAS systems. Because of the spinning drives, the NAS can vibrate at times and these drives are built to handle that. By the way, in case you're worried about noise, this drive is fairly quiet, but the great thing about NAS drives is they don't need to be in your workplace. Remember, they're network attached storage, so you don't need to connect it to your computer. You will access it over your LAN or Wi-Fi connection. I keep mine in the kitchen of my studio, so I don't hear a thing when I'm working at my desk or filming a video. So is this just a hard drive with an internet connection? Not quite. What makes a NAS drive unique and so much more useful than a regular hard drive is the ability to have RAID configurations. You may have noticed that I installed two identical 10 terabyte drives in there. That's not because I want 20 terabytes of storage. I mean, I could do that, of course, but no, this is because I want my data to be backed up and safe so a RAID configuration basically sets up a second 10 terabyte drive to be a mirrored copy of the first drive. That does mean that I get only 10 terabytes of storage, but it also means that if one of those drives fails, I have an exact copy of that drive right next to it, and all I have to do then is buy a new 10 terabyte drive and back up the second drive that is still healthy. That way you will never have to fear losing your precious work. With that said, these drives will last a long time, so you don't have to worry about swapping it out every year. It's not like that. Now, how do you know when a drive will fail? Well, the NAS has amazing software on board that can anticipate ahead of time when a drive is likely to fail so you can prepare for it. Right, setting up the drive is incredibly easy. Asus Store even offers a one-click setup, which does it all for you. Now, once the drive is installed and we've downloaded the control center for the NAS, we're ready to set this thing up to be used as a time machine. Oh, and this isn't just for one Mac. You can back up as many machines as you want. But for today, let's just back up this one. So in the Control Center app, we go to Access Control and create a new user. If you have multiple Macs, you just set up a new user for each machine. Set it up as a regular user, not an admin. Next step, we deny it access from our regular folders and create a new folder specifically for the time machine. That's all it will need access to. Now we go to Shared Folders add a folder and give it a name. Then we go to services and enable time machine support. And that's literally it. Your drive is all set up. Now all we have to do is go to the max system preferences, go to time machine, select disk and choose the Asus store disk we've just set up. Enter the username and the password we chose and there you go. It's creating its first backup. Now this one will obviously take a bit of time, but from here on out, it just backs up in the background all the time and that's it. You now have a time machine set up straight to your NAS and not only can you now roll back to previous versions of your Mac at any given time, in case you mess something up, you also have tons of other storage available on the drive inside your NAS. Now, for those of you who paid close attention, you probably saw that there's a lot more to see and do inside the control center. And that is because this NAS can be used for a whole host of things. You can use it as a media center. You can set it up to run your surveillance cameras, you name it. And it can do all those things because a NAS like this is basically a tiny PC in its own right with its own CPU, its own memory and everything. It even has its own app store where you can find and download even more apps like Plex or one of my personal favorites, Take Easy. Now that one is a little gem because it allows me to download my entire YouTube library from YouTube so that should anything ever happen to YouTube, God forbid, or should YouTube disappear one day, I will always have a backup of my library so I can upload it again elsewhere. Anyway, we could go on forever exploring all the things this NAS can do, but let's save that for another video. I just wanted to share a really great way of backing up your files and your Mac. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you did, please get one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.